Metabolic Reset, video log number three. Good morning and a happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Today is Thanksgiving, but I'm here at the gym. I wanted to stick to the schedule and I just completed the cardiovascular sprint workout. So this is approximately day 14. Actually the first recording went out on uh, November 10th earlier this month and now today is uh, the 24th, uh, yeah, Thursday the 24th, Thanksgiving. So it's been exactly 14 days, uh, two weeks. So the program is going pretty good. So today I'm just going to do another tape, uh, of tape measurement of my waistline and I want to also show you the strength training part of the program. Now tomorrow I'm doing another video because we didn't quite complete the uh, cardiovascular part of it. I said to you that that was pretty much a 30 minute workout but the last 10 minutes is the gentle stretching and the deep breathing. Now that's important because that's part of activating the uh, relaxation part of my uh, autonomic nervous system which is critical to your success if your life is filled with stress and you're still doing everything you need to do and you want to make sure your workout and your nutrition does not contribute to two forms of stress. One would be the physical stress and the other would be nutritional stress. So more than anything else, this is part of how you get your body to actually go in a relaxed state so you can in fact utilize the uh, rest and digest part of the autonomic nervous system and only when you are in that state can your body actually release fat. Okay, so now let's go ahead and do the tape measurement and you guys by now know the drill so I'm going to take this tape measure here. Again, I'm doing this. Uh, I have no cameraman this morning so let's just see. Hopefully you're going to see what's happening at my midline uh, right there in the center. Bring this tape measure. I just got through doing my cardio, so I'm a little bit sticky. Okay. Big breath. Spread it out. And we're coming in at 32. So our number today is 32 inches, and that means we're down 2 inches. Okay, now let's take a look at the strength training workout. So if we take this camera, we're bringing it over here, and let's get this into focus. Hopefully you can all see. This is strength training. It's done approximately 9.30 to 10 o'clock every morning. That's about four hours after my cardio workout. Now this is based on a five-day rotation. Again, each training session is never more than about 30 minutes. So what I'll do is whatever workout I do on day one, let's say for example it's a Monday, I am not going to repeat that workout again until five days later, which would be a Saturday. So that first workout I'm doing my pushing muscles. That would be my chest and shoulders. The next workout would be uh, Tuesday and then it's not repeated again until Sunday. And that would be the power muscles in my lower body. That's doing uh, the glutes and the thighs. Now those muscles burn a lot of calories. And I know for you ladies that's very important. You want to tighten and tone your glutes. You must do your lower body power exercise. And then Wednesday and five days later which would be the following Monday. I'm doing my pulling exercises, that's my back, lower and upper back. The back is huge compared to the chest and arms, so you want to make sure you're very good at doing your back exercises. You want to get rid of your back fat or what some ladies refer to as a bra fat. And then on day 4 and day 9, in this case Thursday and Tuesday, you're working on your core. All of your midsection, you got to strengthen your abdominal muscles, but I'm not going crazy with the abs. I treat it like any other muscle group, and I'm also doing my arms, which would be my biceps and triceps, and I address the calf muscles. So each muscle group gets the same amount of attention, no more, no less, to keep it in balance. That's important, again, so you don't go into stress, you don't develop any muscular imbalances, you don't want to have injuries. Now, uh, day five, in this particular case, Friday, and then again on Wednesday, those two days, I give my autonomic nervous system complete downtime, that's rest and recovery. And you cannot discount the rest and recovery. And here we have the list of exercises. Only 10 exercises that you do in essentially, but you become an expert at these exercises and you're building your strength. 
The exercises are the squats with the barbell. If you don't know how to squat, you have to learn. Then your barbell rows, your pull downs, bench press, shoulder press, deadlifts. Leg lifts I do for my abdominals. Crunches are pretty popular, pretty basic. But if you're not doing them properly, you can hurt your neck. But the leg, leg lifts, you have to do those. Learn how to do them. You've got to protect your back, though. Very important. And then, of course, I balance it out with dumbbell curls and with tricep extensions. And the only thing to note here is these exercises are also being done in moderation. So I'm only doing three to four sets. But here's what's critical. Everybody tells you to burn fat. You have to do high repetitions. That's BS. You've got to overload the muscle. You've got to get stronger. That's how the muscles become metabolically more active, meaning you burn more calories when you're sleeping. So I'm going to keep my repetitions between the 8 and 4 rep range. I'm not using a spotter, so I don't really train for failure. And every time I do those exercises, I get stronger because I'm allowing 5 days recovery in between. So again, there's not a lot of soreness, but you don't need to be sore to build muscles. And finally, I rest 1 to 2 minutes uh, between sets, and that's really all I need. Well, there you have it. That's our strength training part of the program. Last week, you reviewed the cardio. And I also showed you the fat loss. Okay, happy Thanksgiving to all of you. Have a great day. Bye.